Hello and welcome back for another Vintage Cube Draft. We opened up on a nice one in Mana Drain, which I think we're going to take. Notable blue cards, Displacer Kitten, mm, Shark Typhoon is not really notable. Pretty weak in general, otherwise it'd probably take like Recurring Nightmare, but Mana Drain is good, so let's take that. And then Echo of Eons, I do like the draw sevens, um, but I think I'm just going to take the Misty. Stay open, Misty is a blue fetch, that's good with Mana Drain. I don't want to commit to like Cool Mog or Echo or... Any of these other cards. The Salt Monolith, Dark Depths, and some other stuff. Successfully drafted a Dark Depths deck yet. So maybe we take it here. Maybe we play it with it. Maybe we don't. There's nothing really that we're giving up. Otherwise, it'd probably take Basalt Monolith, hope to find a Zerda and try and combo off. But there's Sensei's Top, which there are some combos with that I haven't really tried yet. Dismember is just a good card. Lane Tutor to find some combo pieces. But I think I'm going to try the top. We'll see where this all ends up. Thoughtseize, Bayou, Skull Clamp. I really like Bayou. I also really like Thoughtseize. Snapcaster Mana Drain might be good, but Skull Clamp needs a little bit of work. But I have been pretty impressed with this card because there's quite a few one mana or one one token makers especially in the artifact deck which power up your academy power up your urza and then you have skull clamp to turn them into real cards i think i'm going to take thoughtsies it's just good disruption for one mana hard to go wrong with that okay now there's candelabra which if you find the right lands is kind of powerful there's also urza and urza with sensei's top mystic forge draw your deck so maybe i try urza red of fitter foundry also quite good maybe the urza actually comes back maybe i take the red of fitter foundry and the candelabra in the same pack i'll take the urza probably the wrong pick but it's the most interesting cards out of these um ledger shredder renin six fish claw let's take the ren a little bit all over the place with our colors okay bolus of citadel bolus of citadel urza sensei's top is a, a combination otherwise i take fact or fiction take the citadel walking ballista i think i'll take the ballista might sun and weak stone we might be able to meld urza that would be sweet uh, yeah let's take that uh none of these cards really excite me i guess savine's reclamations is the most likely one enlightened tutor manamorphose vindicate talisman i think i take the tutor the find top and then i'll take knight of the candelabra or the red outfitter came back it's not too surprising okay we get to pick up a mox <laughs> there's also a tinker and the thespian stage wow the thespian stage dark depths i think i'm just gonna take the raw power in the mox maybe that's wrong ah oh, first booster also had a paradoxical outcome i think that didn't come back it would have been sweet for what i'm maybe trying to assemble but I'll take the mox pearl and then one of these cards might come back okay emery minsk and boo lightning bolt tamio dak faden not necessarily blue am i honestly i have no idea what colors i am i have this mana drain but it's looking less likely that we're actually gonna play it i guess i'll just take minsk and boo it's the most powerful card and we'll see where we end up i'm just very confused right now take the prismatic vista we can use some fixing and it's good with top you're not just comboing who sahili i never did see that skull clamp come back take a triome yeah i think i'll pick the sahili time twister bobble uh, let's take the twister okay there's mystic forge was kind of what we were looking for there's zuranorb bowman courier don't know how likely it is that we get the full zuranorb combo but oh wow tundra balance savannah i guess it's gonna have to be balance here okay the tinker did not come back the spin stage did so let's take the stage emery amio amio have savine's reclamation to maybe do some things with it. Yeah, let's take the Tamio, take the Talisman here, Art Evidence, Mutavolt, Questing Beast. Let's just take the Questing Beast. Without Tinker, I don't need Bolus Assisted or the Sphinx. Mm. Let's take Uro or Rona. How likely? Well, we have some mill with Tamio. Let's take, just take the Uro. It's a weird one, this, that's for sure. Oath of Druidge. Sure. Fiend Artisan. Okay, second Mox. So, can't complain about power. We're going to take the Mox and then otherwise like Scalding Tarn is sweet. Triome, Remand, Zerda if we would have picked up that uh, Monolith. But let's take the Mox yet. Um, Fractured Identity has lost some of its luster. Narset, Woodfall Primus, Billful Strix, Utopia Sprawl. Actually, Utopia Sprawl might just be the best card here. We can use a little bit of ramp. Color Fixing does have to go on a Forest, but 
we can play a decent number of those. Stick out to touch the spirit realm. I'm not sure about Ren and Six, Sahili, Uro, Minsk and Boo. Walking Ballista can probably go. We have two creatures, Uro and I'm not sure about this oath. I think Narset. Ooh, Time Spiral. I think I'm going to take the Time Spiral here. Maybe the Thoughtseize doesn't make it in. It's our only black card. Otherwise, we're sort of bent with a little bit of interest in splashing red, maybe. Now I'm interested in splashing black for Demonic Tutor. Ponder is not bad either, but Demonic Tutor is quite a bit more powerful. We do have the Mox Jet, so let's take the Tutor. There's a Saga. I think Saga has some potential in this deck. It's a weird one. Mana Confluence, Sylvan Safekeeper. Yeah, I think I take the Confluence, seeing how greedy our mana currently is. Exploration with a bunch of draw sevens, at least two, seems fine. Oh, that will, that will let us splash Ren and Minsk. And then Karn doesn't seem bad. Let's take a Karn. Actually, Sahili is not too bad either, given the combo we have with uh, Urza, Mystic Forge, Top, that just makes a bunch of 1-1s. Zurnar might not be needed. Let's take a Talisman. Not sure about this Oath. Don't think so. How do we win, though? We can do some stuff, but it's going to be difficult to win. I guess we win with like, Constructs or something. <laughs> We also have Minsk and Boo and, and Urza. Yeah, we have some Planeswalkers to win with, I guess. Sail into the West or Stomping Ground. We already have the Taiga. Do I need another draw seven? I think I'd rather have the land or maybe the Fire Covenant. No, let's just take the land. Godless Shrine does fix, but not do too much. Let's take the Talisman. We actually need some playables. I'll take an Oust and just the removal. Mana Flare. All right, I'm not sure about this one. Good interactions and some powerful cards, but looks a little clunky. The mana base is also a thing of beauty. Levine's Reclamation can go. Mana extra land, maybe just an extra blue source or something. Yeah. We technically have 17 lands because we also have Dark Depths, which doesn't do anything. Yeah, let's let's try. I'm curious. I'm curious if something like this is even good. Okay, round one. See if this does anything. This does do something. Turn one exploration uh, into an island, then another island next turn, and then we Time Twister. Hopefully they've only played one land. Yes, tap land. Perfect. Oh, we wouldn't get the thought seize them. Don't force this, please. All right. Sweet. And then we can Prismatic Vista. Thought sees you. Alice Jailer. Oh, we'll take the, well, I could take the Weather Wayfarer. Yeah, let's just do that. I could also take one of these other cards. Like the Palace Jailer is kind of annoying. Maybe I should have done that. Because the game is going to go long enough that this is going to be relevant. And I could have just played My Son and Weakstone to kill their, um, nah, that's okay. Uh, let's play this. I'm just going to play Might Sun and Weakstone to draw some cards. They scooped it out. Any changes? Not really. We'll just see how this does. All right. Turn one, we can go Talisman, two, Sahili, and nothing. Oh, I'm going to keep just because of the power of Mox and Acceleration. And maybe I should have taken that Sail into the West because we do have two Mox and, and some artifact mana. Okay. Wow. Uh, Forest mox jet and this talisman underground sea ending my talisman i guess i played the wrong land um play another one play the fetch let's just fetch right now or i guess an island loran they just keep blowing up all my stuff uh let's play minsk and boo then we'll just make this big i think i'm just gonna smash them if they want to attack my minsk and boo with loran they can try and ride this boo to victory maybe they make us both draw a card thief of sanity uh nope there is a saga interesting loss and smash or seven and then play Sahili, play Urza Saga, pass the turn. They can kill the Minskambu with their creatures, or they can try and hit a card off of me with a thief. No, they're gonna kill the Minskambu. Makes sense. Still now also need to answer the boo. Maybe they have a path or, or something. Oh Palace Jailer, of course. Yep. Nah, we saw that. Could have figured that one out. Um let's see. I don't want to play the Narset. An island. Play Narset. We get a 1-1. One, one. I'm gonna use Narset. Um nah, let's take the Mightstone and Weakstone. A construct, which I think is gonna be more powerful than some of my other options. And they continue to let us draw cards, both of us. Displacer kitten. 
Ugh. That's pretty sick with Loran. Play I don't have a one mana or zero mana spell. I do want to kill the kitten. Okay, they're gonna attack Narset. Attack Narset with that as well. Okay, let's make a construct. Block your jailer. Okay. Oust that token, blink Loran, kill my construct. Or they might kill my saga. Yeah, they kill the saga. Makes sense. Yeah, because my other guy is, is dying because I don't have enough artifacts anymore. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. They don't draw a card of the monarchy because of the Narset. Mystic Forge. I have to kill the kitten. Mightstone and Weakstone. Target creature. Both of these are summoning sick. Otherwise, I could use Sahili to make a. Well. A copy of this but then i'd lose the original so that's maybe not that interesting let's just pass imagine the thief Ooh, they're attacking us now and they're just letting the narset live not sure about that one both of these are pretty good though the mystic forge is good ren six threatens to pick up urza saga trinket mage oh it's our thoughtsies that they got off of the thief mock sapphire sure they still don't draw a card because narset's still around let's go what mana am i least likely to need i guess make another servo tamio's on top do i want the tamio no i'd rather just take a gamble and try and find an artifact we did not could use the sahili no let's let's just leave it I think. See if they attack Narset now with their thief. Makes sense. We'll get to oust the thief next turn. Yeah, now they get to draw a bunch of cards though. Oh, nice. There's the Sensei's top. So let's cast that. Oh, wow. They just scooped to that? I mean, it's good and I can draw most of my deck, but it doesn't just win me the game. Well, I'll, I'll take it. On to do I keep this? I think so. We can disrupt our opponent. We can ramp into... Karn doesn't seem too bad. I'm really tempted to use mana confluence to Thoughtseize, but that's going to cost me a lot of life. And it's very well possible that they're some sort of aggressive deck. Ooh, Monastery Mentor, Elspeth, the One Ring. Whoa, gotta take the One Ring. That's just a bit too much. They only have the three lands. The Mentor can definitely run away with a game, but it doesn't look like their decks and I can necessarily super set up to do that. Play the Island. Play our talisman. Probably start making constructs next turn. Ooh, Spellseeker. Do they have an Ancestral? Preordain. Sure. Urza, Lord Protector. Could also just the Urza. Play a Mana Confluence and pass. And I could look for... Well, there's a bunch of things I can do with the Tutor. It's going to go Manister, Mentor, Preordain. Yep. They have built quite a big board for themselves. A couple things I can tutor for here. I can tutor for Sensei's top, but then I still need Mystic Forge. I can tutor for Mystic Forge, but I still need the top. I can tutor for the Might Send and Weak Stone. I can only kill the Giver though, or I can draw cards with it. Or I can just tutor for Mox, play Time Spiral and hope for the best, but then I give them a full hand of cards. Let's see if there's other options available. There's a Saga. Don't think that's going to do it. Either a Mox or the Might Send and Weak Stone. With the Might Send, I'm so low. I think playing a slow game with the Might Sun and Weak Sun is not going to get there. I'm going to take the Mox Pearl, play that, play this, and a Painful. Oh, this is also cheaper. So then I didn't need to find the Mox. I guess I didn't need to float the mana then either, but if I brick on anything to do with this hand, I'm in trouble anyways. Interesting. I can Enlighten Tutor find... I can Enlighten Tutor find the... Well, there's a couple couple different things I can do. I play this top definitely i could enlighten tutor and then go find the uh mystic forge draw it with the top tops on top i get to play it but then i'm just losing to the board most likely what if i just oust my own urza play balance i guess if i plan to do that i can top okay there's a mox jet on top prismatic vista narset oust my own urza don't know if this is the right play it's a bit technical maybe well it's not super technical it's like not that hard to figure out hope this works you have to discard three cards lose all our creatures mm, now that i think about it I might as well just balance, let them keep one creature, probably the Mentor, oust the Mentor. I don't think it matters that much. Okay, they discarded three lands, all their creatures are dead. We gain a little bit of life. I guess I got overly fancy by ousting my own creature. The Fairy Time Raveler. Okay, bounce my thing. That's fine. Don't really care about that. Mox, nothing. I don't need the Mox. Do I want Urza or Narset? I kind of want both. No, I want the Urza. Play Urza. Play an island. Play the talisman that resolves yes i could just draw now draw narset and then we play narset narset resolves do i want to minus it yeah i think so and then i get my top i'll just play my top again okay something is happening oh okay 
we lose our urza i'll just take the top shark typhoon um pretty good do i want to enlighten tutor for something enlighten tutor for like exploration and do that but it doesn't seem that good let's just take a draw step um let's narset demonic tutor yeah let's take the demonic tutor play our land play my talisman play the top demonic tutor get the time twister and then twister even found exploration our hand's not that great outside of the exploration, but play an island. Playing the untapped land so I can top. We're not under any immediate pressure. Okay, Mute Vaults, nice. Plus the Fairy, Blade Splicer. Ooh, oust Might Stun and Weak Stone. Um, can oust the Golem. Yeah, I think oust is going to be better. No, Might Stun and Weak Stone is going to be better. So let's put that on top. Kill the Golem, play a land. Playing on the land. I also just draw two with this. Let's just draw two actually. And I'll draw the oust. Oust your golem. Play the Minsk and Boo. Make a guy. Uh, put some counters on it. Go off to the Teferi. Okay, Teferi is down. They can animate the Mutavolt and kill Narset. And I'm sure Minsk and Boo, but I don't think it matters. Okay. That's a good one. That's definitely a good one. Make a shark and then maybe tuck something. I guess if you tuck something, you have to tuck. Okay, tuck Minsk and Boo. Just put it on top again with the uh, Sensei's Divining Top. Feel my Narset at the top cards. Yeah, it's going to be the Minsk and Boo. Play that guy again. Uh, no. I'm actually in a little bit of trouble. Wait, no. I can just play Tamio. Play Tamio. Return the Oust. Oust your shark. Then send boo at the fairy fairy dies and sack my creature probably just kill this it's a little bit of overkill but that's all right let's look at the top cards demonic tutor prismatic vista urza i don't really need to draw urza right now play this play that and then play ren and six plus the ren and then past the turn they're gonna kill my minsk and boo which is fine okay make a one one that will be able to pick off with renin six. Oh, they found the recruiter of the guard what is that gonna find monastery mentor you can also just balance next turn which probably is not bad either they recruited for a spell seeker and then are gonna keep that in hand so they can kill the minsk and boo with the mutavolt yeah sure no blocks we drew urza which we knew was gonna happen so let's think about this i don't think i need to balance here you just ping the shark token play urza yeah i don't need to balance there's urza oh i can also meld urza what does that do again how much mana does that cost me seven <laughs> Maybe that's just what I should be doing here instead of all this fancy stuff. Probably just is, right? I can even balance after. That seems good. Exile target non-land permanent. Make some soldiers. Can't play Enlightened Tutor and balance in the same turn. I think Demonic Tutor is on top of my deck. So let's just name Demonic Tutor. Yeah. Oh, there's the Mystic Forge. Let's exile your Shark Typhoon. Start there. Balancing here. Probably still fine. Oh, I need to lose some lands. Um, one, no, I don't need the mana compass. One, two, three, four, five, six. Choose a card in my hand. Demonic Tutor. Discard the rest. And then I can return my Swamp. Play the Swamp. Demonic Tutor. Don't know what I want to get. Mana Dream seems nice if I had something to do with it. I guess at some point I have to twist her again. Or I get to get Thespian Stage. Play the Stage. And then I have Thespian Stage up. Uh, just make two soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> this deck does some wild stuff. Okay, Spellseeker, I guess, finds an answer to my Dark Depths. <laughs> yeah, unexpectedly absent. Oh, they can also just put Urza on top. I guess I don't want to have that happen. But as long as I keep up Dark Depths, they're kind of incentivized to keep that uh, keep that card in hand. Let's kill the Spellseeker. Don't really want to plus Tamio. I think I'm going to minus Tamio to get back Time Twister. I don't think this is good, but it will be fine. Um, make this cost two less. And then again. So I can play all of my very cheaply. I guess I should have played my Saga. Yeah, they're going to put Urza away. That's fine. I'm not sure who, who's coming out ahead here, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Play Urza Saga. Play this for free. Play this for one. 
draw two cards. I guess I'm also in danger of time and app, so I do need to play a little faster. Oh, I can only play artifact spells with that, of course. Uh, let's go and then play Narset, Demonic Tutor, Mystic Forge. Uh, let's get Demonic Tutor. Um, play a land, play the Urza, or the Sion, a Karn. Uh, make a Construct, and then the One Ring. Okay, that's another turn for them. Okay, Fairy. What are you going to do? Like bounce their one ring or just not do anything maybe. It's been a complicated game. Their stuff has flash. Question is, do I just make the Merit Lage? So we'll make Merit Lage. This one. Um, probably should have tops, but I don't really want to. Let's thought seize the... Oh, I can't thought seize them because of the stupid thing. Narset. I'd love to find Mana Drain. Yeah, there's Mana Drain. We transform. They draw a card. Exile target non-lamp permanent. Exile the one ring. And then I guess exile the fairy. Um, yeah, let's just reveal the top two cards. Cameo and balance. Sure. Get balance. Play a land. The turn. Pick up Thespian stage. Play that. Uh, no point in attacking. Okay. Can they beat a Mana Drain? I guess I could have also just used my creatures to kill Teferi, but I think I have six minutes. Is this game two or three? I don't know. Monastery Mentor, that's fine. That doesn't really matter all that much. Prudor of the Guards, fine too. Thieving Skydiver, that one is not fine. That one I will counter. Mother of Wounds is fine. Just make our construct so we're done. Minsk and Boo, make another construct. We have a lot of mana now. Nothing to find, sure. That goes away. Thought sees you. Take the blade splicer or whatever. Uh, ping the mother. Plus this. Minus this. And then I can just swing all out. And that should be good enough. Oh my god, what a game. <laughs> yeah, this is just game one. Five minutes on the clock. Don't know if I can I can pull out a win here. Maybe Questing Beast comes in just to try and race. No, I think I can win with like Minsk and Boo or, or Dark Depths combo. I don't need to play Questing Beast. That was a fun game though. Oh my god, I mean, I don't know how many errors, but that was fun. I gotta say, I'm not sure if I can actually win the game with this hand in time. It's just gonna have to play fast, so sorry if my commentary is lacking. Jace, sure. Thumping ground, not paying life, pass. Okay, planes, talisman. I'm gonna try and get them with this balance. Kind of hoping to not see the fairy here. Oh, seed shark. Seed shark is kind of annoying. Pretty good post balance yeah i think i'm just gonna play my karn plus it here they give us urza not demonic tutor smart choice really hope they just play another creature here discarded brona okay brainstorm acceptable i'm just gonna flip the incubator token really would love to see that i think before you do that you'd probably flip your jace or loop with jace but it's just attacking me not even karn Ooh, thought sees they're just gonna put this on top of my deck. Thoughts he's here and then balance. Swords preordain reprieve. Take the swords. Yeah, let's just balance. I need to discard two cards. Let's discard Oust and the Grove. Keep Time Twister, Urza, and the Confluence. Then pass. I think I'm not gonna have enough time, but just the land, nothing else. They know we're drawing. Let's just play that. They can reprieve it. Maybe I should have taken the reprieve actually. The colony is also gonna be a little bit of an, bit of an issue. Oh my God. That is an issue as well. I think we've lost this game. Yeah, let's just concede this actually. I'm not, I'm not gonna come back from this and maybe I can win another game in three minutes. I doubt it, but I'm gonna try. Um, It's not great. Tops not great either, these scenarios, but maybe we can find a blue source, mana drain some big thing, and then that would be nice. Yeah, top is not the card you want when you're trying to be fast, but it is what it is. Oh, wow. Uh, This, this, this. Let's just play the stage. We just have to dodge swords to plowshares. If they have swords, I guess we lose. Or I find like an extra blue source and I wait. That seems unlikely though. They did just brainstorm. So maybe they brainstorm locked themselves. Tense, tense game. Okay, they did find a white source. Not happy with that. Go looking for a blue source. No blue source. Uh, put stomping ground there. Question is, do I play the dark death? I think I do. They now have to respect dark depth. So they can never tap out of white mana. 
If they do, they might just die. Now they have double white, so they also have the unexpectedly absent. I'm sort of just looking for a thought seed. I don't need to go for it just yet because I have enough time on my clock to, to wait a little bit longer. Um, well, let's get ourselves a talisman, develop a little bit more. Still threatening the stage activation. It's kind of a fun game. I'm glad I scooped up that second one so quickly. Maybe it could have been quicker. No, I strip mine. This means I cannot activate top. Because if they strip mine, I do want to be able to respond. <laughs> Such a weird game. Strip mine is a perfect, perfect answer. Okay, they go for it. Then so will we. Oh, no, I can't do that because I, I need more mana for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Now they have sort of free reign. Okay, plate the fairy. Okay, let's use that to top. Mountain, Prismatic Vista, Ren. That gets bounced. Ren can reset up the dark depths. Oh my god, such a tense, tense game. Yeah, man, this is this is crazy. Uh remove this stop from my upkeep. Play the talisman, stomping ground, our green red, ren six, pass. <laughs> Still have some time on the clock. Mutavolt. Mother of runes. Uh don't really want any of these cards. Question now is, do I kill the Mother of Ruins or do I pick up the Dark Depths and try to go for that? I think I just kill this, play the Vista. I think I want an extra blue and then play Karn. And then I think I want to do this post-combat because if I didn't get Mana Drain Mana, I get it in my main where I actually still have some colored mana available. Yeah, let's Mana Drain this. Maybe this is wrong and I should actually keep the Mana Drain to protect my Dark Depths. I don't know, but I, I need a creature here to protect Ren and Six from this Mutavolt. I have one minute left. I don't think it's enough for just Karn beatdowns, but maybe it is. Okay, they do have that. Oh, and now I can kill my Ren. Nicely done. Game's not over yet. Colony two. And now we get the Thoughtsies. Uh, let's go Mystic Forge. I do want to draw that. Play this. Play this. Thoughtsies you. Take the Teferi. Make a dude. Uh, pass the turn. I have 27 seconds. There's no way I can win this game in 27 seconds, I don't think. That sucks. I think maybe I should have just gone for the Dark Depths combo, but there's a lot of games where that doesn't win me the game. Especially for his Dem. They had so many answers. Ugh, Elspeth, really? Uh, yeah, that's fine. All right, I think I'm just gonna pack it in. I I could try and win within 13 seconds, but that's just not gonna happen. It was a fun one. I guess I should have played the first one a little quicker. I conceded the second one a bit quicker. Uh, I saw that our deck can do a lot of things, but not fast enough and not enough win cons. Try again in the final round. All right, last round. This hand, I mean, we have exploration and we can play one extra land, but after that, we're just stuck topping a bunch. Had a black land, maybe, but small. Uh, well, this isn't that much better, but I guess I keep. I really don't want to go to five. And I'm going to try and just win with this Urza Saga and then put back maybe just the mountain. Yeah, that seems all right. Rafine's Tower. They went to six as well. Okay. Stomping Ground. Ration. We'll have a lot of mana. I guess this can find us a top. So that can find us some, some action perhaps. Start making constructs right away. And with the Talisman, the constructs are actually hitting kind of hard two more lands it's not really what i was hoping for but it's acceptable let's just pass the turn make a three three and then make a four four i guess two four fours then they're just keeping up counter spell mana it is for two and then let's make a dude let's make another dude actually this dude's gonna be a five five top that we're gonna find and i'm also just gonna play a talisman. We have two six sixes. We'll play our land and smash for six. Oh, there's, a, there's a saga as a busted card. Smash you for six. And let's just pass. I don't really want to activate top in the face of fairy mastermind. Vendillion click. Okay. They want to race. Target themselves. Kind of interesting that they didn't target us. Then they would have been able to maybe disrupt us a little bit and get the extra card draw off of the mastermind. I guess they wanted to put back Remand because it doesn't do anything. We get smashed for five. It's a pretty fast clock. They are also on a fast clock. Ooh, Minsk and Boo. Eh, I don't really mind drawing Minsk and Boo. There's a very good chance that that gets countered. I think I can fetch just because my top cards are pretty garbage. Get a Taiga. I have to imagine that this gets countered. If it's a Cryptic, that would suck. Mm, they're getting a third blue source. Oh god, is it Cryptic tap my team? If it's that, I'm actually in trouble. Oh bounce that guy yeah that makes sense too now i'm not able to race anymore um i guess i want to draw tamio one two three four five six seven i have to go time twister swamp and then smash for five and then next turn we play 
Tamio, get back Minsk and Boo, play Minsk and Boo and try and win that way. An artifact would also do it. But if something changes, you can still top and choose a different order. Two cards in hand, it's not very many. I guess we're stuck with uh, this line. I get. Oh, I also have to give them a card. This is what we're trying to do. Yep, and I get to draw the extra card. And we just have to hope for the best. I'm not super optimistic, but okay. Well, that sucked. The mulligan wasn't very good. Had a bit of a chance with the uh, with the, the Ursa Saga, but ultimately didn't get there. This is probably a hard matchup, given that they have a bunch of counter spells and flash threats. And we have very little removal, but we'll see. Let's try again. I don't think I have a black source off of his Misty, but I'm not going to mold. Potential for a quick Minskin Boo, maybe a Mana Drain turn. Play these out. Ideal draw is probably the other mocks that we have. Don't think I should fetch here. Oh, that's perfect. So I'll seize you. Remand, Crypto Command, Pestermite. Let's take the Remand. And then next turn we get to slam Minsk and Boo. Kind of sucks that we don't have a breeding pool. At least I don't think we do. No, just a stomping ground. Well, our mana off to this is pretty awkward, but Minsk and Boo in and of itself is good enough to win some games. Okay, we drew a blue land, so at least we can play Tamio. I'm gonna say if they draw on like a counter spell here, that would suck, but let's make a big angry hamster. For four, they played Marsh Flats, which is the card they drew. Uh, no, play a land. Question is, they're gonna pester might. Probably Cryptic Command. I think I just grow my Minsk and Boo further. And they can pester might if they want. Yeah, they want to. Can't just take seven here. Tap the Minsk and Boo. Play the Talisman. What do I want to get? I don't mind hitting a Time Twister maybe. We mill the Time Spiral. Now, hopefully they don't rip a twin and a red source. That would be pretty brutal way to lose. They played the island. They're not immediately slamming cryptic on us. Sack Minsk and Boo. Actually, I'm going to return mana confluence. Grow our hamster further. If they cryptic, I'm going to mana drain. I have to get a little lucky for them to wait on the cryptic. Just let that happen. Thank you for 10. Uh, I guess I... Wait. No, they wouldn't have been dead. Got down to one. Would have had a 7-7 seven, seven Minskin Boo. Okay, they've decided not to do anything. Draw a card. Yeah, let's just counter this. Didn't find anything. All right, all right. Kind of fortunate with our mana there. Um, I'd Hollow Scholar, I would like. Pretty awkward on our mana. Yeah, I think that's a bit ambitious. All right. This hand gets the thought season. It kept seven. I think I have to do better than this. Well, this isn't better. This is fine. I guess we put back a planes in the time spiral and then try and win with Saga, backing it up with Minsk and Boo, perhaps. Okay, stomping ground, not a bad draw. So with this, don't need to show them the Mox Pearl yet. I guess, well, no, I don't want to get Mox Pearl countered. If they turn to just play land and tap, counter my Mox Pearl. I can't make a token with the Saga, and it seems pretty important to be able to do that. Currently, on my only point of the Stomping Ground, Untapped, Path. You don't put Pestermite in your deck and not have the Twin Combo in there somehow. Dak Faden. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good, because now I can't make the second Saga token. I will be able to kill the Dak Faden, but I won't be able to make a second Saga token. But we will be able to resolve Minsk and Boo. Tap this for mana, get a Mox Jet. Wait, no, I only have three. Oh no, I do I do have four, I do have four. But the question is, do I want to go Minsk and Boo or do I want to just play? Definitely killing the DAC. I think Minsk and Boo is a much quicker claw. Put counters on that guy and this will just attack DAC and this will attack them. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Our opponent had a heads up play to try and stop the Saga token. Luckily, we have a second Mox, so we actually were able to power out something else a turn ahead of schedule. The land loss of Urza Saga didn't end up biting. Otherwise, we'd be set back quite a bit. We'd have a 1-1. One, one. We'd kill that DAC, but not done much else. And even worse, we probably wouldn't have done anything next turn either, unless we draw a, a cheap card. Docking something in. Gonna talk Minsk and Boo. I mean, it's annoying, but it's... Oh, let's just play Karn. And I think I'm just gonna minus it. And I'm still gonna kill the Teferi. Can't have that live. And then next turn, they should be dead. Unless they do something. Obviously, we can get cryptic again. Very time travel. I'm assuming they're bouncing Boo? No. I can't. Eh, I guess that makes sense. Play land. Seal of removal. Wow. Eh, that's a pretty winning draw. I guess we just play our lands. I'm going to make another. I'm just going to send both. Leave the Teferi. The seal is pretty annoying versus the Minsk and Boo that we have on top. Because if I try and pump my... Oh, okay. That's better. If I try and pump my hum hamster, I was going to say, then they can just bounce it in response. And if I try and draw cards, they can also just bounce in response. 
What do you got opponents? Jace the Mind Sculptor. Just all the bouncy planeswalkers. My god. All right, they decided to brainstorm. Uh, brainstorm is interesting. Here is what they have to deal with on the board and what's still on top of my deck. They need a removal for two creatures. I guess if they bounce Boo or deal with Boo, I put them to one. But if I find another artifact, then that also kills them. I think I'm just going to go face. I could potentially also just send one token at Jace still. But if they answer the hamster, then I still have uh, something. I kill Jace. We draw Minsk and Boo. I think I'm going to fetch it an island use this to get another island or uh, plus this we find a cheap artifact it would be good you revealed forest and time twister well not that exciting they gave us the forest play that and minsk and boo do they have a counter for the remand okay well in the case of remand i think the plan is to just attack jace and attack them or the fairy i think i as well take out the fairy as well both their planeswalkers are down okay they just don't do anything let's try again shall we all right something reprieve i'm just gonna let karn go present lethal and see if we if we get there now i'm kind of regretting not attacking them and just ignoring that the fairy might have been better because then they would need to deal with both my tokens now if they can deal with one it's good enough okay we get to go to combat so no pestermite or is there a pestermite now yeah, really hope I don't get twinned. Would feel pretty foolish if so. But not blocking, which makes it just hope that it's not a twin. Then I'm really regretting attacking the Teferi. But if Teferi gets defend, if I don't, or if I'm not able to kill them this turn and they get to Teferi minus again, pretty much a disaster. They just get like a, a terminate with a draw attached. That costs for two. I think we just go to combat because I get to deal damage with Minsk and Boo regardless if I connect or not. And otherwise, if I just play Minsk and Boo now, and then they uh, Cryptic Command, then I just I lose another turn of not being able to kill them. Whereas this way, I still threaten that. And it feels like they have the Cryptic. Yeah. Yep, there's the Cryptic. They land. Uh, I guess I guess I can play the top as well. Activate that. Okay, that's not going to save me. I guess I put Time Spiral on top in case everything goes wrong. Let's play Minsk and Boo then. Do you have... Oh, Force of Will. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. Okay. What a game. So many counter spells. Cycle of land. They rip a twin on us. Monastery mentor. Oh geez. And they're still attacking. Gonna be a, a tense one. I don't want to play time spiral before attacking. I'm just gonna attack with everything. Restoration angel. <coughs> Can I just ever get there? Please. Yeah, tap one of my tokens. Attack with both. See which ones they use to block. Keep the mentor. Put the thoughts he's on top. Draw a card. Thought sees you. Okay, I have one card or no cards in hand. So if they rip something, then so be it. Obviously not playing the time spiral in this scenario. Come on. Ah, oh, nice. All right. Two and one. I think if we played a little bit faster, we could have won that second match, but we didn't. Um, happy to, to escape with a two and one. Not a very focused deck, but very fun to play, I would say. Um, I'll try and record some more of these and I'll see you for the next one.